If you're considering a career in IT security, you've probably heard the terms red team and blue team, but maybe you aren't so sure what they mean. Hi, I'm Daniel Lowry, and in this episode of How to Get Started in IT, I'll explain the difference between red teams and blue teams and how they affect your IT career path. Okay, so you're ready to get into IT security, but you keep hearing terminology like red teams and blue teams, and you're trying to figure out exactly what is going on with that terminology specifically. Well, let's talk about the fact that there are actually teams that we define in IT security. And what we mean by blue team, let's start there, right? The blue team, these are our defenders. These are people that spend their days patching and updating and checking for vulnerabilities and doing all sorts of uh, fun security type things to defend the system. They're gonna be looking at configurations. They're going to be updating firewall rules, implementing things like IDS and IPSs. These are um, uh, intrusion detect detection systems and intrusion prevention systems. They'll also be deploying endpoint protection uh, on all the workstations to try to keep them safe from things like malware. And if there is ever an incident that occurs, well, they're probably gonna be a part of the team that handles those incidents. So that's what we mean by blue team. These are the defenders. But now let's jump over to what red teaming is. So red teaming actually has this weird thing that goes on with it, where it is used generically as a term for the attacking team. These are the people that act as advanced threat to come and uh, attack against our system so that we can see where our, our vulnerabilities lie. But it's also a very important part of and, and very specific part of IT security where if you're going into true red teaming activity where you are performing advanced threat type of activities. So generically we use red teaming as the attackers, people that are doing things like vulnerability assessments and scans or penetration testing and then there's also a true red team that performs like APT. By APT, I mean advanced persistent threat, which is basically a, uh, a, an easy way to say someone who's very good at breaking into systems and sticking around for quite some time uh, without detection. So they, are, they have no scope. They are going to attempt everything they can think of. There is nothing out of bounds for them. Whereas if I was doing a vulnerability scan, I'm just looking for vulnerabilities. I'll make a report out of that and turn that in to whomever. If I was doing a penetration test, I would find the vulnerabilities, see if any exploitation was available to me. If that was available, create a report, make a, a report and turn that in to whomever. And then if I am an actual red team or someone who is performing actual threat, I'll probably be doing physical testing, maybe even stress testing against the machines. This means trying to denial of service their devices and see if that would actually work. A lot of people do not have the, uh, the countenance for that and I understand that completely, but that's what red teaming means. So what does this mean for us as a, a career path? Well, I gotta decide which one of these things seems right for me as, as I get started down the road of IT security because the things I learn and the things I'm gonna focus on are going to be very geared toward blue team or red team. Not that you won't learn some of both regardless of what you decide to focus on, but as it goes for your certifications and the training that you're gonna engage in, you're gonna to wanna to focus on one side or the other so that you can be very good at doing one of those things. Now, ultimately, down the road, maybe years from now, you are the sage old uh, uh, security person that knows everything about everything. But right now, you're just trying to figure out, where do, what do I do, what, what do I wanna do? I might even, even realize the fact that there is a blue team or there is a red team, and which one do I think is right for me? So hopefully that helps you out. If you feel like defense is your, your bread and butter, you really think that sounds like a great idea and a lot of fun, you can do things like incident response and I'm updating servers and I'm patching and I'm, I'm making sure that everything is as tight as it can be and defending against those evildoers out there looking to do my environment harm. Well then cool, go down that road. You're gonna start looking at things like Security Plus and from there you're probably going to maybe CISA Plus uh, maybe the CASPs and CISSPs, those types of certifications are really gonna help you down that road. If you're looking at Red Team, you're gonna look at things that are more geared toward penetration testing and vulnerability assessments, CEH or Pentest Plus, down the road maybe the OSCP. Things of that nature are where you're really gonna start to focus. Again, you're gonna learn a little bit about everything when it comes to security, because hey, that's kind of the job, but now you have a better roadmap to know where to begin. 
So what are your thoughts on red team and blue team? Which one strikes your fancy? Leave that in the comments below and make sure to subscribe to our channel for new episodes every week. I'm still Daniel Lowry and we will see you next time on How to Get Started in IT.